Hi everyone, so here's my second video um, talking about my new orgasmic paints. So here are the brushes and the cute little paint pots. Um, I really love, as I said before, having a little pot, a little bottle to squeeze out of rather than um, a lot of them come in like tubes. Um, the brushes were really, are really lovely to use. They're a bit um, kind of like longer and softer than I'm used to, but I found them really easy to work with. So I'm just going to use them to create a like ombre base to do some one stroke on. As you can see, this paint is really highly pigmented. It's really nice to use. It's really easy, to, really easy to wash off of the brushes. Um, like with all your one-stroke brushes, when you wash off, you just um, dip into the water and shake about. You don't like smash on the bottom of the pot. So you always look after the bristles really well, and they just wipe off like a little bit of water, and they just wipe off on the kitchen towel really nicely. And then, yep, shake, go back into shape really easily too. And then when the stripe was just coming in, just a simple two, bl two colour blend for this video. I found the pigment in these paints really nice, really highly pigmented. The paint is really nice to use. It glides beautifully. Um, the brush is, you know, I get a lot of control, get a nice glide, get a lovely shape of my petals there. These are literally, I unboxed these and was videoing straight away. So... I'm just kind of like getting used to the brush, but that's how nice these brushes were. I could literally unbox you straight away, um, and I was really happy with them. So I'm just going over those. Now this, I pretty much do this all the time with my one stroke. I nearly always go over with a second coat just to make the colours that bit brighter. Um, and that I find with all one stroke paints I've used that I always go over a second time. And you can just make sure the petals are exactly how you want them then as well. And I'm just doing a simple like five flower, five, pe blah, 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 five petal flower design, nice simple kind of like daisy looking design here. Now I didn't think very carefully about my background colour because I'm going to use yellow and green to do my leaves and obviously I've got a yellow background so that was a bit of a rookie mistake from me there. So I'm just creating these leaves. Now leaves I sometimes struggle with when I'm gliding, but this brush made it so simple. The brush didn't snag at all, it glides beautifully, and the paints you know, didn't dry up, didn't get patchy or anything like that. There's my quite simple flower design there. And I'm just going to do a few other petals on the base of this tip. Just wanted to fill up a bit of that empty space. And just washing off that brush, putting it back in shape, and then adding a few more leaves to this design. And then I'm washing that brush off, squeezing it back into shape, and then popping that plastic cover back over. And now I'm going to be using my detailer brush. I love these bottles because you can get a lot of control about how much you're getting out of the bottle. And I love this detailer brush. It's, it's quite short and it's very thin and it's fantastic for like doing like your little dots and your fine detail. It's really easy to control and work with on the nail.
just adding a few little bits of detail onto those leaves. Obviously, you can see that that first line was a bit thicker. This is the first time I've ever used this brush, but then after that I managed to, uh, <laughs> I got the hang of it, and I could get much nicer, thinner lines there. And then just adding a few little swirly tendrils. And for these, I go into the green and then into the yellow. And I like that because it just gives like a little, it adds a little bit of colour. So it's not just a flat colour, it adds a little more depth. And then we're going to let that, I'm going to wash that off, pop the cap back on. Make sure that's all fully dried, cured, everything. And then I'm going to double top coat this with a matte top coat this time. I put the wrong top coat on at first, but then the second layer. Always double top coat your one stroke or any nail art. And then the second layer I did, I used my matte top coat. Cured in the lamp for 60 seconds and then cleansed. There you go, a little one stroke design with my fabulous new paints. Thanks for tuning in guys, any questions, comments, requests, pop them below.